Total Drama Reunion, the project that could have brought the perfect closure to the original cast. But although the project was banned just after one episode, we can't help but ask the question, what if Total Drama Reunion wasn't cancelled? How would the story end? Stay tuned because in today's episode, we are going to find the answers to these questions. Blue Production actually announced that the project would come back this summer with one more episode in order to end the story. Unfortunately, it is already November and we didn't hear anything from him. So, we decided to take the situation in our own hands. First, let's see what we know from the first episode. The 11 contestants are now on Boney Island, trying to find their way to the beach. They are separated into little groups. The first group is formed by Duncan, Courtney, Ava, and Cody. The last scene of the episode shows Duncan rescuing Courtney near a body of water. Since there was a giant octopus, we can assume that they were already at the beach. The second group is formed by Bridget and Lashana. In the episode, they arrive at a river and say that they should follow it to arrive at the beach. There, they would probably meet up with the first group. So, the first team is formed by Duncan, Courtney, Ava, Cody, Lashana, and Bridget. The third group is formed by Alejandro, Heather, and Owen. We know that Heather hears Gwen and Trent scream when they were being chased by Ezekiel. Gwen? Trent? Is that you? So, there are big chances that the group would follow their trail. After some time, Heather's group would meet up with Gwen and Trent. Then, Alejandro would try to calm down Ezekiel by calling him Amigo since we all know they got along just fine in World Tour. Also, we know that Ezekiel wants to get revenge on Chris for what he did to him all those years, so there are big chances that he would help them. Since Ezekiel was on the island for so many years, he would know how to get to the beach to meet up with the first team. So, the second team is formed by Heather, Alejandro, Ezekiel, Owen, Trent, and Gwen. This is the most realistic scenario that we could have thought about considering what happened in the first episode. From now on, we will mostly speculate what could have happened next. However, Blue Production gave us some hints about how the action would have looked like. So now, both teams are on the beach. They notice a boat and sprint to it to see if it works. Sadly, the whole engine was missing. Then they get angry and begin to blame Courtney for the situation. But Bridget takes her side and explains that she only wanted to help them. After that, they started talking and decided to go to a place without cameras and microphones in order to find a way out the island without letting Chris know their next move. They set their walkie-talkie on a frequency so that Chris wouldn't hear. All of them agree that it would be too dangerous to try to swim to safety and also, we can't forget that Chris has a legal contract. Therefore, they need to contact someone from outside the island that could expose Chris. They establish that Jeff is the best version. Jeff wasn't selected as a contestant for the new Total Drama reunion because as he matured and became a father, he lost most of his stereotypical party guy personality. So Chris thought it would be a boring contestant for the show. However, over the years, Jeff managed to host talk shows and make his reputation using his charisma. Therefore, he now has the necessary networking to expose Chris and save the others. Unfortunately, they don't have any way of contacting him. However, in the middle of the night, Duncan wakes up to smoke a cigarette. He looks around the island and sees some random lights coming from the skull-shaped cave. In the morning, he tells everyone about the lights, thinking that there could be some technology they could use to contact Jeff. But now, they have a bigger problem, because there is a large fire spreading around the island. In his last announcement, Blue Production showed us this image. Here, we can see that there was a large fire on Boney Island. The most plausible explanation could be that Courtney's plane started that fire when it crashed. We can also see that Gwen has some wounds on her face. So, we can assume that the woolly beefers and the Stemfelian Canadian geese went crazy because they were scared of the fire. So now, the contestants aren't even sure that there's technology in the Skull Cave. There could just be light from the fires nearby. But they still go there since that's the highest point of Boney Island. When the contestants reach the Skull Cave, they find a control room that is connected to all the technology from the island. But before entering the room, they see Chris inside. They plan to ambush him. Fight. But when they do that, it is revealed that it was a hologram, just like the one from the plane. There, they use the computer to contact Jeff and to explain to him their plan to expose Chris. After that, the contestants have nothing to do but wait and see all the island burn around them. After a while, the police rush to the island and rescue them. Also, in Blue Productions post, 
we can see that Gwen is somewhere in the middle of the water with Bonnie Island behind her. We can assume that they were rescued by boat in the middle of the night. After the contestants escaped the island, they decided to initiate a second trial in order to end things once and for all. This brings us to the decisive point of the story. Back to the main rivalry, Courtney versus Chris McClain. Fight. This is the rivalry that started the story and this is how it will end. This is how we will end it. The final trial brings Courtney the right opportunity not only to finish the events that she started by mistake, but also to take her revenge for all the things Chris put her through. However, Although over the years, Courtney became a better lawyer than every team Reynolds Chattington could hire, there wasn't anything that could have proven that they were tricked. The judge even tells them that the chances for all of them to be fooled would be too small. Also, Chris and Reynolds Chattington deleted the videotapes of the first episode, so the contestants are given one week to find a proof. Otherwise, Chris and Reynolds Chattington would be the winner of the case. That would give them legal permission to force the contestants into participating in the show. After lots of thinking, Bridget, Heather, and Lashana came with a plan to contact all the contestants that participated in Total Drama for them to come and testify against Chris. The day of the trial finally comes. Only some contestants came to actually help the OG cast. So, after hearing both sides, the judge takes a break because she couldn't really make a decision. After the break, she makes up her mind. Even if she hates Chris, the contestants have too little evidence. There would be no way that they were all fooled to sign the contracts. Right before she announces the winner of the case, a tall, muscular, African-American man walks in the courtroom. It's Chef Hatchet. He then explains to the judges all the things his old friend did to the poor contestants. The judge is shocked and announces that the OG contestants win the case for this reason. Chris, alongside Reynolds Chattington, are put in jail for good. Courtney finally finds peace in her life and gives her and Duncan another chance. Gwen and Trent also decide to give each other one more chance. She accompanies him on the tour and presents her paintings at every concert. Lashana starts her own reality show in which she talks about all the things that happened in Total Drama and hires Ava as a bodyguard. Cody finally begins to appreciate Sierra more and they plan to actually marry. Owen starts an online cooking show but ends it very soon because he was always eating the ingredients. Alejandro used his influence to get Ezekiel to the best doctors and help him rehab. Heather was changed by the experience and started to use her social media influence to expose the bad things that happened behind the cameras in other different reality shows. Jeff and Bridget are reunited with their kids and family and throw a barbecue party in which they invite everyone. This is most likely the type of ending that Blue Production had in his mind, the happy ending that the OG cast deserved. It is pretty sad that we never got the chance to see such an ending. However, there is still hope. Maybe, just maybe, one day, Blue Production decides to release the masterpiece that he created and blow the internet one more time. However, if that happens, he will be the one that would have to fight Chris McClain and all the Fresh TV crew in a trial. However, most likely, that trial would have had a happy ending. But until then, we will keep an eye on it and keep you up to date with the latest news. What do you think the second episode of Total Drama Reunion would have looked like? Make sure to tell us in the comments. Take care and see you next time with a brand new video.